Well, Mr. Isayamu said the Supreme Court has, by its judgment, brought to an end the struggle for the office of the governor of Edo State, which began on the 28th of September 2016. He said now, and I quote, uh, I accept in good faith this decision of the highest court of our country, which affirms Mr. Godwin Obasaki as the governor of Edo State. I therefore congratulate Mr. Godwin Obasaki and assure him of my goodwill. End of quote. Well, let me show you here just uh, a few things you need to know in, uh, about this uh, race so far. In September 2016, Governor Basaki was declared winner of the September 28, 2016 governorship election at Doe State by INEC. And uh, Mr. Basaki polled 313,483 votes uh, to defeat uh, Mr. Isayamu, who polled 253,173 votes. In October 2016, the PDP candidate Osage Isayamu led a protest in Benin City over the election result. He challenged Obazaki's victory, alleging widespread irregularities. And on the 14th of April 2017, Justice Ahmed Badamasi led tribunal upheld the election of Governor Obaseki. Well, the Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, got a favorable ruling after the Court of Appeal in Benin dismissed Isayamu's appeal. And today, Governor Basaki got the decision of the Supreme Court, bringing an end to the legal tussle. Well, now, let's get a governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki himself, who joins us from Victoria Island in Lagos, where he's holding uh, a retreat with his cabinet members. Many thanks for coming on the program, Governor Obaseki, and I, may, and I should say congratulations on yet another victory for you and your party today. How does this come to you, uh, especially when you got a call from Mr. Osage Izeyamu, a man that has battled with you uh, on the, at the election front and again in court? Thank you very much, Shemu. Uh, thank you for your kind messages and kind words. Um, yes, uh, it wasn't totally unexpected, if you, uh, like you've said, um, since the, my, the op opposition went to court, we have won every step of the way. And so today's judgment did not come as a surprise. Uh, we anticipated it uh, because we knew that uh, we won our elections fair and square. But how I, you know, I re how I received um, Saige's uh, congratulatory message, I thought that was, uh, you know, quite, you know, honorable of him. Um, he, we spoke. He told me that he, you know, decided on the basis of his principles to go to court. And now that the courts have ruled, he's um, accepted the rulings of uh, the Supreme Court. Um, for me, it's a very honorable thing. Um, and has, since he has now stretched out his hands of fellowship, I will work with him as one of the, you know, citizens of my state. Uh, when you say you will work with him, in what capacity? You've also said that you will uh, extend a hand of fellowship to every citizen of uh, Edo State, not minding their political affiliation. Is Mr. Osage one of those whom you think you might be working with and the PDP? And in what capacity will you be doing that? Certainly for every Edo citizen who has something to contribute to my government, I will be open to accepting their contributions, be it in terms of ideas, in terms of, um, you know, specific things they want to do for our people. Uh, I cannot say specifically now, but it's, it's up to, you know, them, it's up to what it comes up with. But I mean, I must tell you that um, between both of us, we've, we have, you know, very cordial working relationships. As I speak, and as he will confirm, even the road leading to his house is being tarred by my government. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, that's a good moment for us to take a break. And when we return, the conversation with the Edo State Governor will continue. We'll be asking him about the state of the nation and some other issues that are very important to everyone. Join us again.
back, everyone. Governor Godwin Obasaki of Edo State has been speaking to us on the program earlier. We spoke to the Publicity Secretary of the PDP over the Supreme Court judgment. Let's get back to the conversation with the Governor who has been speaking to us via Skype from uh, Victoria Island in Lagos, where he's holding a retreat with members of his cabinet. You did hear what the Publicity Secretary of the PDP said there that. Um, they're not quite, uh, they've accepted uh, the decision of the Supreme Court. Uh, and they are going to pose a very strong and viable opposition to your government uh, in the coming days. As it stands now, a lot of questions will come about your delivery uh, of governance to the people of the state. Uh, some will say, uh, criticize you that you actually uh, formed a cabinet uh, late uh, but now you're holding a retreat. What is the aim of that meeting that you are having or the retreat you're having with members of your cabinet? Uh, uh, Sean, as you would agree, um, <clears throat> when you put together a team to work with you in um, administering an entity or governing any entity, it's important that you are able to build or find common grounds to explain what the strategy is and what you what the expectations are from the team. Uh, that is the reason why we decided to take them out of Benin, to come to Lagos, and also use the opportunity to rub up minds with our colleagues and our counterparts in Lagos, who we believe have done very well in terms of the governance they have provided to Lagos State. So in a sense, it's, um, it's, a, it's a meeting, it's a retreat for us to sit back, to agree on common grounds and ask on what our deliverables will be and what we expect to accomplish within the time frames we've set for ourselves. In what specific areas are you looking to collaborate with Lagos states, just like you mentioned, and what areas uh, in specific terms or which are the specific areas you're planning to tap into? Uh, 